So, if you've clicked on this video, you're probably new to cloud and AWS. Maybe you've seen the amount of certifications that are out there and you're wondering, where should I start? What certifications are actually worth getting? What's the exam like? What do you need to study? Well, you've come to the right place because I am Suleiman and I've worked in tech for over a decade. And today I help businesses scale and secure their systems on AWS. Now, going into 2025, the cloud landscape has changed, which means if you're trying to get certified, the path has changed as well. I'm going to share my three step mastery approach for AWS certifications, a strategy that I've designed for you to have maximum impact with minimum time investment. Oh, and there's something else too. I'm going to tell you about this one big mistake I keep seeing beginners make. Trust me, you don't want to fall into that same trap that they do. Don't worry though, I'll show you exactly how to avoid it. By the way, join over 10,000 engineers and grab my beginner's guide to the cloud for free, link in the description. So let's start with phase one, the foundation. As a beginner, it's important to build this basic understanding before you get really technical. And I recommend getting these two certifications, the AWS Cloud Practitioner and the AWS AI ML Practitioner. Now, here is my thinking. Cloud Practitioner gives you the crucial understanding of how AWS works, the core services, the billing concepts, the basic security principles, and how everything fits together. But that's not going to be enough for 2025. And that's why you should pair this with the AI ML Practitioner certification. Why? Well, because we are living in an age where AI and cloud are becoming inseparable. Every major cloud project now has some AI components, and this trend is only going to accelerate. And to be honest, these foundational certifications aren't difficult. Each exam is 90 minutes, it costs $100, and consists of multiple choice questions. And if you set aside dedicated time, you get both of these certifications in just a couple of weeks, which will then set you up for stage two, the growth phase. And this is where things get a little bit more serious because you are going to pursue the AWS Solution Architect Associate certification. This certification teaches you how to think like a cloud architect. You're not just learning about individual services anymore, you're learning about designing solutions. The Solution Architect Associate goes into designing architectures, understanding how different services work together, implementing security best practices and optimizing costs. Now this exam will cost $150 and gives you 130 minutes to complete it. It's definitely more challenging than the foundational certifications, but it's still quite straightforward if you spend time preparing. And there's plenty of resources and free tutorials on YouTube giving you the exact A to Z roadmap on everything that you need to learn. For example, Free Code Camp have a 50 hour video taking you through everything that you need to know to pass this certification. So it's all there for you you just have to take advantage of it. Now you can pass this exam in just four weeks. I passed this exam in one week and I did it in Japanese. So what's your excuse? Which brings us to the final stage. But before we get into that, I just want to have an honest conversation with you. Maybe it's your first time coming across my channel, but five years ago, I was exactly where you are right now, stuck in a job that wasn't fulfilling me, knowing I wanted something more, but feeling uncertain about making the change. And you know something that is crazy. At AWS reInvent this year, they announced a shortage of 6 million cloud professionals globally. And more than 90% of companies said that hiring entry-level cloud positions helps them with innovation. But here is the thing. The only difference between me and you watching this video right now is that I took that first step. I remember sitting at my desk one morning and I knew I needed to change. So I quit my job. Everyone around me thought I was crazy. Cloud with no experience, good luck with that. My colleagues were convinced that I'd be back at my old job within a few weeks. But sometimes you just need to back yourself into a corner to find out what you're really capable of. I had saved up three months expenses, not a lot, but enough to give me a runway. And I just suddenly got this new lease of life. Everything I was doing felt more purposeful, more exciting, more rewarding. Now I can hear you thinking, that's great 
but I can't quit my job. And here is the thing, you don't have to. You don't need to do everything that I did. You don't need to even save up three months of expenses or start a YouTube channel or wake up at 5 a.m. All you need is a few focus hours each day. I know your brain is probably throwing up all sorts of resistance right now. That's normal. Our brains are wired to resist that first step to keep us in our comfort zone. And here is what changed my life. Once you take that first step, everything gets easier. The momentum builds slowly and then all at once. So let me tell you about Jay Martinez. Jay got laid off from his banking role and had no tech background or anything, but he decided to go all in on the cloud by joining my cloud academy. Was it easy? Absolutely not. But within a few months, he landed his first cloud engineering job. And not just Jay. Last week, another one of my academy students, Mac, landed a job at AWS and they're paying him over six figures. You can see the exact post right here inside of my community. And you can even see that he's offering to help people inside of our academy with interview questions and preparation. These aren't made up. These are real people inside of my academy. And to be honest, I've seen hundreds of people make this exact transition. People from retail, from teaching, from construction, all sorts of different backgrounds. Now looking ahead, AWS is constantly evolving and constantly growing. The skills grab isn't shrinking, it's expanding. The cloud industry is growing at 16% per year and is projected to be worth 1.6 trillion in 2030. And I've built the number one cloud community with over 340 cloud engineers. And I want you to remember, just like I was literally five years ago, you are one decision away from changing your entire life. The blueprint is there. The opportunities are there. The only question is, are you ready? If you are, then go check out the link in the description. Now, step three, the final step, specialization. Instead of pursuing multiple certifications and jumping straight to the professional level, I recommend specializing in cloud security through the AWS Security Speciality Certification. Now, in the past year alone, 61% of organizations experience at least one security incident related to their public cloud infrastructure, up from just 24% from the previous year. We're facing a massive cloud security skills gap and is getting worse. 30% of cybersecurity professionals specifically pointed out to cloud security as their biggest skills gap. In fact, nearly 40% of IT professionals across the board identified cloud security as the most significant skills shortage. Now, in the age of AI and the rapid cloud adoption, security often gets neglected in the rush to innovate. Now, the cost of this neglect, the average data breach now costs businesses $4.8 million. Now, every company moving to the cloud desperately needs cloud security expertise, but there just isn't enough professionals who truly understand cloud security. Now, the AWS security speciality is more expensive at $300 and is definitely challenging. So it potentially will take you a few months to tackle this, but you need to have an understanding about implementing security controls, managing security operations, and ensuring compliance. Now think about it this way. By following this path, cloud and AI foundations, architectural knowledge, and security specialization, you are building a skill set that combines broad cloud and a little bit of AI knowledge with deep security expertise. This combination is incredibly powerful because you understand both how to build cloud solutions and how to secure them properly. And with this current skills gap in cloud security, you're positioning yourself exactly where the industry needs you most. Now, as I said right at the start, there's one big mistake that every beginner makes time and time again. Now, running my own academy, I've learned that before people join, they've been neglecting this one thing, hands-on practice. You see, my philosophy is that you have to get hands-on practice as soon as possible, even if you don't quite understand everything. So inside of my academy, we get you working with services and hands-on practice straight away. Because to me, if you actually want to learn, that's the best way. Watching tutorials all day long without doing anything yourself is exactly why you're not living the life that you want to. And beginners make the mistake in thinking that certifications are the gateway to landing a job. This misconception holds so many people back from breaking into the cloud. So let me be very clear. Certifications are supplementary to your learning journey and should never be replaced for real practical hands-on experience. Too many beginners think they need five or six or even 12 certifications before they can start applying for jobs or working on real world projects. They get stuck in this certification collecting mindset. And I'm going to be real with you. Potential employers do not value your cloud certifications as much as they value 
hands-on experience. When I'm checking someone's CV for my consultancy, I skip straight past certifications and college degrees and go to their work experience, what projects that they've built and what actual work that they've done. Are they building in public? Did the candidate link their GitHub profile? Because certifications help you learn cloud fundamentals, but they don't teach you practical experience or fixing real world issues. So instead of waiting until you've collected multiple certifications before applying for jobs or getting your hands dirty with projects on AWS, start building projects right away. Set up a simple static website on AWS. Get familiar with different AWS tools like S3 for storage or EC2 for compute. These projects don't have to be complex. You just need real hands-on experience with services. AWS has a free tier and you can use the same tools big companies are are using for their own cloud operations, literally directly from your laptop. It's never been easier to get started and break into tech. And look, once you get going, things compound so quickly because if we all did the things that we are capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves. And I love that quote by Edison, because you are capable of way more than you think. So start this year in the right way and in three months, you'll be blown away with the progress that you make. And if you wanna learn the complete cloud engineer roadmap for 2025, then check out this video right here.